Well, how's it going, King Smith? Welcome back to another NTW3 battle. Today we have, quite honestly, it says on the notes that it's an RC versus a Napoleonics clan. Um, and I honestly don't know who's on whose side. I am sorry to you if you're in this clan and you don't, you're like, why does the Kingston know which clan I'm in at this point? But there's so many people that you, I, I thought were in different clans that I've seen together that it, I just, I was like, you know what? All I know is it's RC versus Napoleonics. Uh, that's about it. And I apologize if I don't have any more information. I just got, literally just got back from, uh, vacation and I'm throwing in this, uh, replay literally right after getting home, so I think I have a little bit of a leeway here to be a little lazier, okay? This I'm building has fallen uh, but anyway, anime. like I said, this is a 4v4, two clans facing off. This map we have seen recently, actually. When I first saw this, I was trying to figure out if this was a replay I'd done before. And uh, no, it's not. It's not. It is um, still, though, a 4v4, though. And uh, we have some different tactics, maybe. We will see. Um, on the French side, you have in the center here an 8-point Salt. Um, Victor, the 10-pointer, being a Cav core, rolling in here. On the flank, you have Mortier bringing the guard. Beautiful-looking bunch of units. Look at these guys. Oof. They look like they're ready to roll back some Prussians and Austrians and British. And also, of course, there is a 8-point Ney. This is another guard unit, I believe. Look at this, just rolling down the road. Oh yeah, look at these uniforms. They're just so gorgeous. The flag, especially my favorite part, that Imperial, like, it's not the regular flag, but it has like a writing on it. It's all in gold. Love it. Um, but anyway, so on the other side, I apologize, I don't know the points. You have a UK, a Prussia, um, Russia looking faction here, and then a Prussian army as well. Blucher, I believe, is what's being brought. Um, and then, of course, in Austria, I apologize, I don't know. I could pull up the names of the generals they're playing, but that is about it. And like I said, I am being lazy. Um, I'm not sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, looks like we had some Chasseur Cheval throwing back some uh, some Russian Cossacks here. So France pushing across the river. Victor making a very heavy cab presence on this flank. As we all know, this can be a very crucial flank, and Victor is already setting the pace here. And, um, you know, with that guard coming in on the flank, this river, of course, the UK do have a strong position. Oh, look at that French line. Ooh, that's not a good shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All ready to just advance at the enemy. Whew. That's gorgeous. Now, artillery from the UK is already shooting at them. Um, obviously, we do have a bit of a shifting from the far right flank of the Imperials to maybe the center um, as they're going to go, looks like, advancing straight into this British army. We have their first little bit of action here. Um, ooh, my goodness. We have the, I'm going to call them the Russians. I know it's a bit mix of each. But you have the Russians here. Now they're going to start making their way across. Oh, they have the guard. Oh, yes, the guard. I love the guard. The Russian guard is amazing. Just for uniforms. I don't care about anything else. And uh, they're, yeah, they're pushing across the river here. They have plenty of heavy cavity, a lot of crossiers. Um, but the British are making their stand here. Looks like they have some Highlanders. They have just some regular lines. All trying to make a stand. They have this right flank being watched by, it looks like, some Portuguese. Looks like they have some light infantry as well. Um, they did have a bit of a flanking force, maybe some light infantry in coordination with some lines. Wow, they have a contingent just pushing forward here, right into the French. This is going to actually not be a good idea for them. I, I'm, I'm happy to see that they're falling back. This whole French army, Trilliers, Voltiers, National Guard, all would roll into this flank and obliterate them. I think they are realizing quickly that is not a very wise decision. And of course, you have even more of that guard rolling out into the open field, and they're going to start making their formations and advancing straight in at the enemy. And like I said, I think the first engagement will be right here. Now, we have obviously some artillery that was hitting that French line. They did shift to the left, where the buildings actually block these lines from getting shot at. Um, not, a, not a bad play here, maneuvering. And we have the French pushing forward here. 
starting to pour in some volleys as the UK advance to start exchanging fire with them. As this will be the first of the engagements here. Looks like France may actually be trying to go for the LSC. I'm not totally sure. Here's some cavalry. Our first cav engagement as well. And Mortier is pushing on this flank here. The British look like they are determined to hold this position at all costs. Um, the British are obviously going to get reinforced by Russia pretty soon here. And then, of course, you have Austria and Prussia on the other sides here. You see Austria. Looks like they went in for a cav charge. Looks like we're going to have the 20th, or the 19th, sorry, the 19th charging in here. Let's see if they can get a charge off. Looks like they do manage to get a charge before, well, they still got a shocking volley, but still, Victor is going to push in multiple cavalry units. Looks like he's going to try to really close in as Salt is going to push lines in. Now, it's just like we had some, um, some cavalry skirmishing with line infantry. Obviously, they're not going to do well as there are squares there. But the Prussians are pushing forward in mass. They are ready to engage this French line. But here is the first melee potentially happening here. It looks like there's going to be a back charge. Some Gusari charging some Hussars in the rear. Yes, but here we go. France is going for a melee. The French are going to try to close it before the UK can really reform. Mortier pushing over the hill here. Oh, look at all the massive infantry just ready. Nice flanking charge by the Chasseurs. Now it does look like, yep, we have a line forming up. Prussia, interesting enough, still wanting to take them head on at this point. Um, over on the side, a lot of cavalry now starting to uh, maybe clash here. Victor definitely does not want to take this fight anymore as those are crossiers. He's going to pull back, let them take this out of the river. They can hold this river crossing and start going straight into the British, which is exactly what they're doing. You can see the UK have pulled their lines back. We do see a reinforcing or another advance by France on the left flank as the UK form up to face the French who are now pushing forward here. So we have some Carabiniers and some elite line of street going to charge in together in coordination. Ooh, there's some nasty volleys from the Black Watch. Just break those Imperials. Cavalry charging in, though. I think they're actually going to get them and not be able to let them form square. Turning a bit nasty here. Austria rushing over to help their ally. Prussia has formed up now. France going to take that fight. I think they can definitely do well. They have the tree line. They have some good shelter with the trees. And they also are defending this flank, which then, obviously, the rest of Ney can push in and start surrounding this UK totally totally obliterated the UK and Austria in one fell swoop if they can play their cards right. Huge advance. Beautiful. This looks gorgeous. Multiple bayonet charges going in. Have you ever seen a sight like that? You have the guard in combat here. The Black Watch about a break. The French on the flank, even taking the guns and just pushing entirely around France, doing amazing work here. Prussia pushing over to try to break maybe some of that uh, that flank. Austria is having to form up to start engaging against France, but I think it may be a little too late as France is going to close that gap. And you can see France has made contact with the UK on multiple sides here, and they have a massive advantage here on the flank. You can see also Austria getting charged once again. Oh, man. I'm getting screenshots of this, guys. I You can guarantee that. This is beautiful. Now, France is beautifully holding just the line of trees all along here, holding that flank while they continually keep pressing into the UK. Russia is still trying to push up. They are far behind. Now, the UK do have a bit of a flank here. Ooh, Austria has some reserves. It may be time for the coalition to consider what's the next step. Do they cut their losses and try to pull back into town as much as possible? Looks like they're actually going to use Prussia to start pressing that counterattack potentially. They do have a lot of infantry that's shooting in the rear. That's going to cause a lot of friendly fire. The UK are doing a decent job of uh, multitasking here. 
LOC is still, I believe, held by the Coalition, which is going to make things a little more difficult here. Russia has pressed across. In fact, Russia may be trying to attack the rear of France as France presses into this Coalition. And I see, start to see a lot of French losses here. And keep in mind, guys, this is really top-notch quality troops that France is losing here. But still, they are still pressing their attack. There's going to be some fibbing happening just from the multitasking and unable to, you know, get all the units at once. Looks like Austria held back some of those elites. Oh my goodness, though. France went for a gen snipe. This could be huge. Here is more Prussians reinforcing. So Prussia rushing forward to attack Austria. Trying to get this general out of there. Trying to have a Prussian maybe save their general from just being killed. Maybe he'll come back. There he is right there. So I think he'll manage to live. But still, they may lose their general. France still doing very well. Kind of keeping the melee going. Not letting the coalition do a whole lot. Over here, what is happening here? Looks like... Looks like uh, some Prussian cavalry actually making life miserable for this Imperial Guard. He's even pressed into the tree line, so surprisingly, Prussia's doing a lot better on this side. Uh, but the melee, you can see the UK are just breaking. Although they are inflicting heavy losses on the French as well. You have some heavy cap pressing forward. And cavalry actually going to make life very miserable for more tiers of forces. I do believe they took, yep, they finally took the LOC. That is going to make things a little more easy for them. I do see the guard shredding up this French line. They have some very good quality lines that are just going to be eating up the French that are facing them. As you can see here, taking heavy losses. Another bayonet charge downhill. More crossiers charging in to be met by the Russians. Heavy cap as well. What a fight. What a fight. Austria managed to actually save their line. Look at this. They have a fresh line waiting. Russia's actually still... Ooh. Wow. TT Ross, the UK lost their general. Um, but Prussia has managed to actually press the French out of the tree line. They're doing an excellent job here on this flank. I'm assuming this is Blucher doing a beautiful job of just pushing the French back. Um, utilize the fact that France is in two different places at once and really pressing that attack with the advantage of numbers. Now you can see France went in against Russia, but instead they're already met by some heavy cavalry. Now they do have the high ground. They're rushing forward some batteries. They're going to start wreaking havoc on the... Russians lines and they really sorely need that artillery to start firing on the flank. We do have a Victor pushing cavalry on the flank as well. Not sure what he's planning on doing. But this center is looking pretty good for the French at this point. Let's see how Austria is managing. They have pulled back away from the French. All right, so there's definitely some gap. This is not good for France. There is some some gaps being made or some distance being created between the French and the coalition right here. Exactly what they need. You see Prussia. Look at this. Their lines are literally almost parallel. I'm surprised they haven't pushed troops out here to fire on the flank of these folks of yours. Oh, oh, wait. They have artillery doing that, maybe. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What a beautiful battle. What a beautiful battle, guys. Artillery is set up. Ooh, that is what they're trying to go for. As Prussia starts pressing that flank. Let's see if the center... It does look like... Okay, never mind. That uh, does look like uh, we did have more Victor going for some back charges against taking out some horse artillery. Yep, so a very crucial cavalry or horse artillery got broken. Now Russia, well, they don't have that support anymore. This hill is still being contested. Uh-oh. 
Oh my goodness, I missed it. Prussia went in for the gen snipe here. Took out a general. That is unfortunate. France having to try to reform now. does like they went after the uh, Prussians. At the same time, this gun is still active though. And Prussia is looking and... Austria look like they're trying to regain control here. Man, this is still a raging fight for this hill. Just not stopping. More heavy cab pushing forward. Russia really starting to make a little bit of progress. Just slow and steady does it. And it seems to be working quite well for them. These guns, I don't think, can actually hit this. Maybe they work for the cavalry, I'm not sure. But yeah, France is actually looking kind of weak here on the hill. Um, if they set heavy cab, maybe some Austrians in, they could probably break this. I mean, there's some reserves resting. But I'm trying to see where the French are actually the strongest. I think this flank is actually their strongest place now. This flank is crumbling to Russia. Definitely crumbling. They do have some cavalry. Heavy cav especially still in this grove. Artillery covering their flank. We are going to probably have some cavalry try to go for in our... Oh, no. The guns. The guns. They may actually stop them with some uh, harassiers. Yeah, they'll save them. But still, you have the coalition pushing forward. Although, we may have... Some Russians getting charged by some cavalry. I'm just trying to figure out the best angle of attack for both of these. I think Prussia is making some huge progress on this left side. It's almost a no-brainer for them to keep pushing that left side. The right side, obviously, for the Coalition 2, they seem to be doing an excellent job. Um, the center, not, not, really, not really looking to be a winning point for this... Um, coalition yet, but actually they are making some advances and not really being too severely punished by the enemy fire. Boy, what a hit. What a bloody hill. That was a hard fought after hill. France has still managed to hold that right flank, but Prussia is just sitting here on the flank, just pouring fire with several regiments. The coalition looks to actually be going back for this LOC. Yeah, you have this whole Prussian line sitting here, man. This, this. All right, so they're trying to force him into square, and uh, it's working. It's like Prussia is still trying to break up some of the enemy cavalry here, so they can get some cav dominance here on the flank. Victor still throwing in cavalry as needed. Russia doing amazing work here. I would love to see the army build for this one. France is actually falling back. They may lose this LOC and Hill. That is... Wow. Okay, so... Uh... The French, I've realized that how desperate things are starting to get, the coalition's numbers are starting to play against them. And uh, the masses of Prussians just telling. Yeah, the Prussian army, they brought about 2,500 men. The biggest army next to them was actually the UK with 2,000, then Austria with 15, and then the Russians with 12. That is a lot of men. That is a lot. That's like 7,200 men on the coalition side total. About 65-ish for the Imperials. Oh, wow, we have a Russian engagement. Looks like the French actually trying to guard v guard here. Oh, 
look at that. Russians versus French Guard, the most elite of the elite. And then the crosshair, so they're starting to counterattack against Russia. And it actually seems to be working quite well for them. They may smash through this front line of the Russians. Let's see. Oh, they're going to go for the second wave. Oh, disaster is striking the Fran the Russians. France charging in on the flank. And over here, Austria actually going for a bayonet charge against this French line. France's line is slowly but surely shrinking. Say if we have some Prussian dragoons on the flank going for those chasseurs cheval. Oh, Land Bear going for a bayonet charge. Looks like Prussia was looking to try to end it. Uh, this flank, though, definitely looking way more serious here. Cavalry charging in as well. Oh my goodness, the French are winning. French just struck a massive blow to the Russians using their heavy cap in line infantry and it worked out beautifully. Mortaire and Victor coordinating beautifully. Beautifully. That was amazing. Now Prussia is going to have to feel a little more pressure maybe try to make a move here. However, I mean, Prussia has been playing quite well here. They keep using their cavalry to great effect here. And France actually may, well, it's still flip flop because they won this flank, but Austria still holds the center. And France got totally thrown back, so whatever this is, going to have to push over here. Now, they still hold this LOC, those Voltiers holding it for dear life. And Prussia is still very much alive on this flank. Now, France is definitely starting to work on that. Over here on the flank, you can see using some sappers to just run down this Prussian flank. Some cavalry going against those lancers. They may have to finally break them. Now it's up to Austria to kind of carry the torch here. They have to set this. They have to set the example at this point. I feel like it's like a little bit of British left, a little bit of Russians up on the hill. They hold a position that was originally theirs, which is kind of ironic how things kind of flip back and forth, but they, they, basically this hill exchanged hands the first, second time, just twice. Well, they had it, then they lost it, then they had it again, so I guess three times. Oh, we have the crosshairs charging in on the flank. Catching those trilliers out. Of course, they do run and form a square, it looks like. Oh, they do lose the town hall again, though. That's going to help the coalition hold. Now, what is left of Mortair is pulling back towards the center. They got to mass up and push in one area only. They still probably don't have as many troops as the coalition. Um, if I were to guess at all. They don't have any now. I don't see very much cav at all. Maybe a limit of Prussian cav, but I think they actually lost it finally. Russia and Austria still have a significant portion of their army left. Now, the nice thing about Prussia is Prussia has large land bear units, so not very mobile. However, they can take a line fight for a little while if they're in mass. When they're isolated, it's done deal. But in this instance, holding their line, they can do quite well here. Now, France may be trying to go for a flank with the Volsiers. We'll see if they actually can manage it. Nice flanking by Prussia in the tree line to stop them from really pushing on the flank without getting some punishing shots. Our men are but like I said, 
Ooh, actually we have another cavalry charge. Get some Russian skirms. Very cool looking unit. All right, so you notice LLCs by France have been taken on two different sides. They are preparing for the worst. They also have cavalry in the back lines of Prussia. I'm actually seeing an entire mobilization towards Prussia, so Austria should be trying to threaten that uh, flank, trying to push forward here, starting to really threaten France so they can't really push that. But here we go, France is gonna have to make this play, and this is gonna have to work here for them. Oh, they do form a square, though. This is some Prussian guard units. But then you can see France. Oh, they have a lot of infantry pushing forward. And they do make that distance. Blue, they, the Prussians need a general to rally, and I don't think they have a general. And now if Prussians ships all the troops over to this side to let Austria be able to push on their flank, um, I think they can take this. I mean, France can't take too long of a line fight here. Prussians already made some damage. Ooh, more cavalry charging in here. Lancers, artillery is forming up. We're going to take some shots. Prussia actually mobilizing some troops here. Let's see what France can do. Austria is issuing out of their LOC to support their ally. see the French there anymore. I think they left. Yep, they left. They retreated. And now, actually, France is now shifting back towards Austria, who was pushing out to help their ally. Quite honestly, if I was Austria, I would have done the same thing. And I hope, hopefully, hopefully they don't get punished by this attack. However, it looks like they have the columns pushing forward here. They are pulling back away. <clears throat> nice flanking fire here. May not be enough. Square is formed, but still Austria does have some lines who are pouring in fire. Look at this flanking support. A bar of the square. They're probably giving attack orders on this Voltaire who is already starting to be shaken just from these volleys. Beautifully done by Austria. And then the reinforcements, you have Russian infantry pushing forward as well. France is going to try to close this gap, push in, but it's not working out too, too well for them. Here we go, though. They clash here with Austria. But more troops are pouring in, pouring in the fire, lining up here. This is really crucial that they keep the firepower support so that the French cannot make a melee attack. The French are going to try to melee where they're already in melee. Russia has a flanking line here. This is super crucial to have those kind of lines. Now, they are going to send in some chasseurs. Let's see how well. Oh, that may break. Oh, no, they're hard. What am I saying? All men are running. Yeah, France actually may have this now. They were able to close the gap on multiple sides. Austria and the coalition just unfortunately have so many units routing. The mass route's going to trigger along the entire line. That's unfortunate, but, you know, someone has to win. France just managed to use their elite units, and they had several armies of just elite. So it's up to Prussia now. We'll see if they can do very much. I mean, they got, they got quite a tall order to fulfill. Take on the guard units with cavalry, might I mention. Crossiers. I think they have some carabiniers as well. And two generals left. And it's like, good luck, take on cavalry and a bunch of elite Imperial Guard units with Landwehr. A tall order. 
Let's see if they can manage to pull it off. And with still 29 minutes remaining, it's anyone's guess. You know, I don't think they're gonna go for LOCs yet. I sense we have a canister going in. I sense canister. Oh. Oh, man, they break. I'm Prussian mass routes. Like I said, land bear against elites. It's not probably going to work here. Um, there's only one or two units left. I'm just going to hit the fast forward button so we can get to the results here. It looks like the coalition is just going to maybe, maybe pull out of their LOCs and concede. Which means, let me pull up the results of who actually won here. Um, if the French won, I believe, is that Napoleonics? That were the French? And the RC was the, let me see. I can pull this up real fast on my phone. Oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say who won. What the heck? <laughs> I feel like it was the RC. The RC was the... Napoleonics was the coalition. Maybe I'm wrong. Totally wrong. Someone will probably correct me in the comments. Um, I don't know my clans very well. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> but um, a beautiful, a beautiful battle. I loved this battle. Like, like I said before, I'm definitely taking some uh, screenshots of this because it was gorgeous. The, the attack by the French, the counterattack by Prussia and Austria and Russia did amazing. If Russia had been able to have some cav support here on this flank they're pushing, um, Prussia definitely would have had their flank because this whole side cleared up and then helped out on the other side. Oh, you guys probably can't see my mouse, huh? I don't think I ever took it off from my last screenshots. All right, well, I'm saying it's this side. Um... This side had that attack that the French launched against Russia that broke them. And if they hadn't, if the Russians had stood their ground of no to repel or pulse it, then this side with Prussia would have been very much more difficult um, as Prussia had a lot of troops and France didn't have much to really make a, an attack. Um, but unfortunately, this is where things went downhill was this flank where Victor and I believe Mortier made their counterattack. It worked beautifully, and the coalition then, unfortunately, got on the losing side of things. However, still, they fought very fiercely until the end. Loved that. Loved that battle. It was an excellent battle. Who's left? Is there a unit left here? I apologize for the mouse. I always forget to do it back, because when I do my screenshots, their general, sir. Now I take the mouse break. off, obviously, so that they're more authentic-looking screenshots. But anyway, let me pull up the results here. Um, let's see, who, who was this? This was Ney. Um, man, look at their artillery. 182 kills for their artillery, 186 for their chasseurs. Yeah, they did pretty well. But here's the results. As you can see, we have Sigismund. He was the... I'm not even sure. Uh, but he got 10.08 for the kills. Oh, um, Sigismund was Victor. Um, got 10.08 for the kills. Dollar sign was Ney. And he got 13.93. Chain as Salt. He got 985, and then you have Tech as the um, Mortier, and he got 1275. On the other side, you have General Hero, uh, 540 as the Russia, TT Ross as the UK, 1445, and he got some really good kills. Probably taking that whole fight for a while. Um, Angry Peach as the Austria, 1092, and then Antonio Handsome as the Luker as Prussia with 822. Um, and as you can see, the, the numbers were almost were almost the same. Definitely more numbers for the coalition. I feel like that's pretty normal. But um, good game anyway. All right, guys, that'll be it for me today. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, I will see you all in another video.